So guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can flash the CR Droid and Droid 12L version which was lately released in the Redmi Note 8 Pro for our Redmi Note 8 Pro in the Telegram group. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see that how we can flash that in our device and who all can flash that. So before moving further, uh, let's talk something about the CR Droid as I've already talked in many of my videos, but uh, still let's uh, get some briefing that what actually CR Droid is and uh, what base it is on. Okay. So guys, I am here on the official CR Droid website, which is the crdroid.net. And in this we we can see that it is in the head title it is written that improve the performance reliability customizability of your android device so let's not get into details because i've already talked about uh, talked about the cr droid rom in many videos in fact i've talked about the cr droid rom in the last video which in which we were flashing the cr droid uh, version 6.27 in that video i talked as well and in this video the thing will be the same Okay, but uh, here we are flashing about the Android 13 and oh, sorry, Android 12.1 that is 12L version. So let's see that uh, how we can flash that and uh, just uh, one line to say that this is based on a lineage base. Just, uh, the custom ROM of its type is the lineage OS and from that the CR Droid is derived on the lineage base. Okay. So let's see that how we can flash it and let's see what are the files which are required. So guys, before moving to the download link, uh, let me just tell you that we have conducted the survey uh, on the on our official YouTube channel. And uh, here you can see that so here you can see that I have posted three options. That is first one was the C Android version 12 L. The second one was the superior OS and the third one was the arrow OS. Okay. So guys, according to the result of this poll, poll which we have conducted here and also guys, the link uh, of this poll was also posted in the Telegram group. So I hope that uh, uh, everyone have already has already voted it. So my bike uh, with the conclusion of this vote, that is uh, many people want that I should flash the CR Droid. So in this video, let's see that uh, how to flash the CR Droid. And guys, one more thing which I would like to add over here that from now onwards, uh, I will be conducting a regular poll uh, like this in our on our youtube channel and uh, you guys will have to vote over here and let and uh, just let me know that what uh, are your choices like which rom should we flash i will mention three to four rom over custom rom list over here and we will see that which rom uh, do you all want to see me flashing and you also want to flash okay so uh, without any further ado let's get started let's see that how we can flash the cr droid and let's see what are the files required so i will just uh, gather the files link over here and uh, i'll meet you after that so guys here i am on my download pages so the first file which you need to download is this one and this is guys the official file which i have taken from the telegram now telegram and the second file which we need is the TWRP recovery files so you just have to click over the here and click on the files over here and here when you'll scroll down so you can see that this is one plus 80 brp so guys don't get confused by the name because it is one plus 80 it is it is written it is not one plus 80 it is one plus 80 themed okay now here you can see this brp so b stands for the begonia which is the redmi noted pro device code so this recovery is used for redmi noted pro devices so don't get confused so the second file which we need is this file so you just simply have to click this and download it over here and it will automatically start downloading now i have already downloaded it so i will not download it so these two files which you basically need and guys over here one more file which we need to download is the google apps file because guys here droid is completely based on vanilla build and we need to flash the google apps as well so that we can access the play store you have to come up to this website and guys here i am giving you two options to download that is first one is the over one and second one is the basic one so guys you can download any of them like core or basic but guys if you uh, download the omni and above the omni part so it may cause the error in your device because uh, the storage is quite limited when you flash the uh, google apps so that is the reason why i'm suggesting you guys to download either the core or the basic one okay so in this for this video i'll be using the basic one and i'll provide the link in the description for this as well so you just have to click on this one and here the file will automatically be downloaded now you just have to i have already downloaded so i'll not download it i'll press the back over here and you can simply download it this file okay i'll provide all three all can flash this rom so guys here i am on my phone on my redmi noted pro and let's see guys who all can flash this rom so by currently i am on you can see that i am on 12.5.5 so guys, if you are in 12.5.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, any of the ROM, you can 
uh, watch this video and go to your CR Droid Android 12 L ROM. Okay, now let's start the video. So first thing, first step, what you have to do is you have to press this MIUI version literally seven times. So after you press the seven times, you will see that you are now a developer. You can see over here. So after popping up, after seeing this message pop up, you simply have to press the back button over from here and you have to scroll down and you have to search for the additional settings. So you can see the additional settings is over here. You have to just simply click this thing and you can see the developer option over here. Select this and here you can see that my device status is unlocked. So guys, if your device status is also unlocked, then you can flash this, watch this video and flash the custom ROM. Now, if your device is not unlocked, guys, then you can simply unlock your device. I have made two videos uh, on, in English as well as in Hindi the language. The videos are available on my YouTube channel. I will simply put the link in my description and also in the i button over here. You can simply check that out and you can unlock your bootloader without any data loss. Okay, so here you can see that my device is currently unlocked. You can see the MI unlock status is unlocked. Okay, now I'll press the back button over here and second thing which you have to uh, see is you have to enable the USB debugging. So you just have to uh, click on this one. You just have to select this thing and press the OK button after the 10 seconds timer overs. So you just have to click over here. Okay. And you, your USB debugging will be enabled. Okay. Now these two steps uh, are needed to be done. Now the third step, which you have to do is uh, the second step. Basically the first one was in the developer. The second thing is, uh, you have to copy your custom ROM to your Redmi Note 8 Pro. So guys, here you can see that I have copied my file. Let me just show you. So I'll go to the file manager over here. Here I will click on agree. And here you can see that I have copied the CR Android as well as the basic, which is Google apps. So both of them I have copied. Okay. Now let's go to our PC and flash the TWRP recovery. But before going to PC, what you have to do is you have to go to your device fast boot mode. So for that, what you have to do is you have to click on the reboot over here and press the volume down button constantly. Okay guys. So here we are on our fast boot mode. Now let's flash our TWRP recovery and then we will flash the custom ROM as well. So let me go to my PC and flash the TWRP recovery. Okay guys, so here I am on my PC and I have already told you to copy these two files which is the custom ROM and Google Apps file. Now here this is the TWRP recovery. So what you have to do is you have to extract this recovery. So after you extract it, you will get a folder like this. You have to simply double click this thing and you have to open the folder. And here you can see that uh, here you can see this flash recovery uh, uh, file. So you simply have to double click this and make sure that your phone is connected meanwhile. Device has already booted up into the TWRP recovery. All right, now let me disconnect my phone because uh, my PC work is currently for this video. It's fine. Okay, so here we are on our TWRP recovery. Let me connect my mic over here. Okay, I hope the audio is clear. Okay, now let's see that how we can flash our custom ROM. So first for uh, first thing which you have to do is you have to come over here to mount. You have to mount the system and vendor over here. You have to disable the MTP over here and then press the home button. Now go to install and make sure that you check that the uh, ROM as well as the Google Apps file is there over here. So you can see that both of the file are over here. Now just have to simply press on wipe. Click on the advanced wipe. Click on the Dalvik system vendor data and catch and just wipe this. Okay, now press on the home button, click on the install over here and first of all flash the CR droid and select over here add more zips and then select the Google Apps as well and then swipe to flash. So guys, you can see that the ROM installation has begun. Let's wait for it to completely install as well as the Google Apps installation. So guys, you can see that the Google Apps is automatically getting installed over here. So guys, this is the size which I was talking about while selecting the Google apps. That is the reason why I told the guys that you should, you must select the either the basic. So guys, our Google apps and our ROM has been successfully flashed. Now what you have to do is you have to press the home button over here and you have to come to the wipe and then format data. But guys, before formatting the data, one step is necessary, which you have to come to over here advance. Now click on the disable force increase option and just swipe to wipe this. Okay guys, now you can also come to advance and you can root it, but I am not rooting my device. So I'll simply skip this step. And if you want to root it, so you can simply swipe this to flash and the your device will be rooted. Now come to wipe over here, click on the format data type Y E S E S and just take it. 
Okay, so uh, you can see that the data format is successful. Now just let's press the reboot system and let's wait. So guys, here we go. Here is the boot animation. Okay guys, so here we are on our CR droid. Now let's press on the start and here you simply have to click on, on next. Click on next again. Now skip this as of now. Click on the next over here. Now again you have to simply click next over here. You can simply skip this thing. You can set the later on. I will skip this as well. Now click on the skip and here you can select your according to navigation whatever you want. So I will select the three button one. Click on next over here. Click on start. Okay guys, so here we are on our CR Droid Android 12 L system and let's see guys what will, what is the smoothness and all and how it performs. So guys, here we are on our CR Droid system and guys, this is definitely stable. Now let's check whether uh, what is the FPS when we are while we are scrolling the system UI. So I'll I just enable this FPS over here and let's see guys what is the FPS. So you can see guys the FPS over here. You can see the FPS meter over here. So let's see where, how what is the smoothness okay while we are scrolling. So guys you can see that the FPS is 60 then again go 59. Okay guys so, so the system UI is smooth because while we are scrolling the UI the FPS is continuously at 59.60. Now uh, let's see the notification bar. So guys while you will bring down the notification you may see a little bit of jitter. You can see the FPS drop over here. Okay now let's see the notification scrolling over here. Uh, I hope it is clear. Okay guys, so notification scrolling is definitely clear, but while bringing down, you may feel a little bit of jitter. The system UI is definitely smooth. The notifications, uh, this one scrolling is smooth, but while bringing down, you may feel a little bit of, uh, as I told, it is maybe a jitter. So this was all in this video guys. Now let me show you that this is the same Android 12 L version. So I'll go over here, Android 12, you can see, and let's click on the Android 12 and uh, so guys, if you have any doubt, then you can simply ask in the comment section or even you can ask on the telegram group. We have a dedicated telegram group for this particular channel. And also guys, make sure that you participate in the polls which we conduct in the uh, YouTube channel on our YouTube channel community tab. Okay, because that is the reason, that is the point of deciding factor that what ROM we are going to flash in our upcoming videos. See what is the kernel over here. So you can see it is... Okay, the CR Droid is using its stock kernel. You can see the CR Droid kernel. It is by default the CR Droid kernel. So this is all in this video, guys. If you have any doubt, you can simply ask on the comment section. So till then, take care.